Um, yeah, we are live and welcome to day one, I guess, of Firebug. Day zero was the very first episode um, and we went through a lot. Um, so the way I've decided to do these, uh, oh, and, and if you're new here, uh, please um, check out uh, our first episode, but the general plan is we're going to be cloning um, uh, apps with React and Firebase and whatever else we need. The first project that we're cloning is planner.now.sh. Um, and in our last episode, we got to the point of having a to-do list that was hooked up to Firebase, the traditional real-time database. Um, and our agenda for today is going to be picking up from uh, the second ar time around. So what you're watching right now is the raw version, uh, raw recording, where I do these things completely unrehearsed. Um, so you get to see me resolve issues um, as I run into them. Um, and then after I'm done with this, I'm going to do a second uh, round where I only do uh, the things that work um, for people who don't necessarily want to see me stumble and figure stuff out. Okay, so our, our tasks today are to um, convert the Fire, Firebase real-time database uh, project to Firestore. Um, and Firestore is the newer database format, which uh, we like for a lot more, a lot of reasons. Um, not to, not least of which, um, Google is investing a lot more in it and not really investing anything in uh, the old database anymore. So I'm just gonna call it old database and new database because uh, the other names for it um, are too complex. Like uh, you know, well, Firestore is it's a nice name, but Firebase Real Time Database, no one says that. Um, and then, and then we're, and then you know, once we get past that, then we're going to be try to be able to put to dos from backlog to specific date and back. So what that means is, um, the last time we left it, uh, we were able to you know check things off and add things, um, but that was um, just a basic to do list. Um, and what I what really needs to happen is we need to move things into a specific day. So this is a specific day view, and this persists. So I'm on third of April right now. If I go to fourth of April, this disappears, but this still persists. Um, and I can move this into here. I can check this off on this day. And if I move back to the third of April, the old stuff comes up, and the new stuff uh, remains in that. Uh, um, fourth of April, so that's what that's what we're going to try to do, um, and where is it? And um, and then we're going to try as a stretch goal to make a working calendar view, so uh, to navigate the date. So this this little grid here, um, it's very nice, and I want it cool. Okay, so um, the last time we left off. Oh, the other thing is. Um, we're always going to have branches, so you can pick up from wherever. Um, so we're starting off uh, the day zero branch. Um, so this was created at the end of day zero, and I fork it off to a branch here, so it will always just stay there uh, while I keep working on the master, and I'll fork it off every single day. Um, so here we are at Firebug Planner. Um, and the first thing we're going to have to do is set up the Firestore. Oh, the other thing is um, you're, you're also invited to come on to sp the, our Spectrum channel, the spectrum.chat slash imposter syndrome slash firebug, uh, and chat. Um, so this is a nice place. Um, I find this much better than comment comments on YouTube because YouTube can be pretty toxic sometimes. Um, and I think that is it for uh, as far as a uh, sort of preamble. Um, so let's go into the Firebase console. And go into Firebug Planner. Um, I have set up the data, the Firestore database already. So you can see these two things over here. Um, if you don't have the Firestore enabled, you just need to go here and then click on Firestore, and it will it'll ask you if you want it. And of course you do. So just click, just say yes, and let it set it up for you. Um, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna delete this the stuff I already have here because I just want to show you how to start with a blank slate. So this is how this is our blank slate right now. Um, and it looks kind of similar to the real-time database. So the real-time database is 
what we're used to where everything is a JSON object. Um, but crucially, this is an object, whereas we over here in, in Firestore, they do support uh, an array. Um, and where you see that is over in the docs, Firestore docs, I guess. Um, I'm just punching anything from history. And if you look at, for example, the data types, um, they do support a lot more data types. Um, the last time um, I had an issue sending in dates because they don't recognize dates, they recognize strings. So I had to convert dates to strings to save it in a database. And then when I read it back out from the database, I had to convert strings back into dates. Um, with Firestore, this is completely not necessary. So um, Firestore, again, better than old database. Um, just take it, take it, take my word for it. Um, it also supports arrays, which is very nice. Um, so we actually don't pretend to store things as an object when actually they're arrays. Um, so, so I have the Firestore set up. Um, and then the other thing we're going to need to do is so far we've been using React Dash Firebase by this guy Unfold. Um, I don't know who Unfold is. I think it's a company. Um, they don't care very much about Firestore. Um, I've tried to PR an improvement in, but um, they haven't accepted it. So I've had to go ahead and and submit my own sort of fork of their their projects so we can use React Firebase Firestore. Um, so that's what we're going to start doing, um, and I'll, I'll sort of fill you in on the rest as we go along. Mm, well, okay, so so here we are. Uh, this is the project as we last left it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and we are going to add, oof, um, that was not what I wanted. I'm a very lazy typer. La 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 All right, awesome. Um, and so there's a couple of things we have to change over here. Um, first of all, head into the index. No, nope, nothing here. Uh, the app. Okay. Um, so the first thing we have to do um, is um, I actually just recommend you. Um, read the Getting Started for Firestore, uh, because it's going to give you a, a little bit of a brief briefing on, on what's uh, what's going on. Uh, but basically, we need to do this little bit, bit of magic. Uh, once this is invoked, um, it will um, render some side effects in, in there, uh, which we don't really need to worry about. We just need to make sure this is included in our code. Um, and uh, then we also need to declare uh, the fire fire store. So um, all this is in should be in the docket, uh, the the documents. Um, so if if you're ever in doubt, just um, there we go. So we've we've initialized the app, and then we also call fire store. Okay. Well, I need to declare this, which I don't have already. Um, well, I can just put it here. And then I will say const firestore equals firebase.firestore. That should just about do it for us. Um, and then uh, my provider now comes from React Firebase Firestore. And the provider takes another property called firestore, which is the, the um, method I just called here. So um, if that worked, um, so that's the that's the initial sort of hooking up of the secrets layer uh, of the app, and it, and, it, and it sets it up for the provider. Then now in the main, I need to also um, switch the connect function over. Um, and this connect function is very similar to the React Firebase connect function. Um, only difference really is just uh, the method names, this is all documented uh, in terms of uh, what we need to convert. So remove becomes delete, for example. Oh. Um, update is still update, and push becomes add. There we go. Um, I think that's it. 
if that's not it, we'll find out as we run this. Hmm. I have something running already. So, this guy. Ooh. Okay. Uh, import and body of module. Um, React likes to yell at you when you try to do things out of order. Okay. So that should do it. Um, It does take a while to, to start up. So I do need to initialize app before I do this. So further down. And so here I have a blank database. And when I type in hello world, um, it is no longer blank. Well, yeah, I refresh it. Um, my internet is not the best right now. Um, so that's so. As you can see, this is very similar to what we used to have, where a unique ID is generated, um, and this fields are given. Um, hello world to whatever. Um, and it should pop up here. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Um, so, but we're going to have an issue because um, not everything translates fully, uh, and I haven't uh, fixed every issue. So let's see how that works. Let me try and update something. Oh, something it says no document to update projects primaries. Blah 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 blah. Slash to do slash zero. Um, and that's the problem here because I used to rely on the index of the. Um, I used to rely, rely on it being an object, right? This this collection of stuff. But now collections are arrays. Um, so over here, when I call um, object on entries, I'm calling it on an array, which doesn't really make sense. It just really gives the index uh, of the thing to here. So what I really need to do is call to dos uh, dot map, and uh, I don't need structure here anymore. I just receive an item. Um, and I call a key, which is item dot underscore ID. Um, so that should about fix everything. Um, run things over here, clear that up, and check this. Ooh, look at that. And is complete true. There we go. It's complete false for the second item. Um, so that's very nice. I can also delete if I want to. And that goes away. Um, Ta-da. All right, so we have, that's it. That's the conversion from um, Firebase to Firestore. Not super painful. Um, and uh, honestly, because I had some practice, so um, I'm not patting myself on the back here. <clears throat> All right, so let's move Trello cards over because that's extremely satisfying. Oh, there we go. Um, then we do... Put, and then we need to be able to put to-dos from backlog into specific date and back. OK, so that's a little bit more involved. Um, and what I think that entails is we need some notion of current date, right? If you look at this, we need some notion of what day we're on. Let's say we're on the 4th of April. Then anything that's added here becomes the 4th of April. Um, then if we come back to the 3rd of April, then we show everything that's relevant to 3rd of April. So right now, whenever I add anything, uh, I'm adding it just based on my system date. Um, so that's going to have to change with a concept of current date. Um, I'm going to just leave that in the component state right now because that's very easy. Um, but we will probably have to refactor, refactor this. Mm. That, that just sets our current date to today. Um, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. I'm not really super thinking it through. Um, And whenever uh, 
whatever I call add, I want to, oh, this goes to handle submit. Um, okay, well, whatever I call add, I want to add to the current date as well. And then the current date goes to, um, Current date goes to add to do. Blah. And that current date becomes this thing over here. Mm, I think that's it. Okay. Um, I do I do probably need a date picker, which is a hard uh, component to do. So what am I going to do? Let's research day pickers um, because I have no experience doing day pickers. React date picker. La 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 la. La, 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 la. This is relatively well maintained. It's got a shit ton of stars. This is good. All right. I think we have our date picker. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just launched the wrong version of VS Code. Don't kill me. Okay. Well, ah, no, go away. Go away. All right. It's gone. Um, here, go back to our other terminal. Okay. Um, and then yarn add React Date Picker. What an obvious name. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice when it's not someone who is just squatting on the name and never gives it up, but someone who actually takes care of the library? Um, that looks like a lot of dependencies. I don't even want to know. What is going on there? Okay. Um, good job. I'm not caring about performance right now. That could be gnarly. State picker. It's got some CSS, which is nice. I don't have to worry about CSS. Uh, it's got CSS modules, which I don't use. Um, and it needs moment. Oh, I need moment JS. That figures. We are in add moment. All right. I've got moment. Oh. Clicked on the wrong thing. Okay, so and then I need to hook it up in the constructor for some reason. Start date equals moment. Just wing it. Sounds like our needs are very, very similar. Okay, and then handle change, blah, blah, blah. This dot state dot start date. Okay. This is using the old format, which doesn't do implicit binding, so we're now going to do implicit binding. <laughs> OK, handle. Yeah. Handle date change. And over here, I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to stick it somewhere um, top, I guess. Mm, current date. Name for this thing is kind of date change. Um, that's that. And when I do the right, so this will change the date. That will change the date, the state, and the date, I guess. And when I submit, um, it will read it off from the state 
and give it to my add to. My add to, add to do, and sticks that into my new code. So I think that's it. I don't know if I need to, moment is not defined. What are you, oh. See what you're doing right now. Do I have a working day picker? Second mm. April. This is now something from second of April. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Ah. That's not good. Unsupported field value. I need to cast a moment object into a proper date. There's got to be a way to do that. I don't have a lot of experience with moment, um, which is why I'm doing these raw videos to show me screwing up. All right, get ah, just, just this picture. Give me the date. Date of week, day of month, day of year, day of year. No, that's not what I want. Just give me the day. Mm -mm -mm. What? Display a JavaScript date. That'd be what I want. Date. Huh. Okay. So this becomes to date. Down in here. Okay. It's the 7th of April, for example. And test. And if I look in my console, um, it says error loading documents. Um, I do have documents of different type right now because I have some old documents with with the nice date um, and then something for moment. But I think they should be fine. See, there's April 7th. This is a string, and this is a string as well. Um, so I have two very different types of dates, but this is probably the right one. This is a timestamp, as you can see, whereas this one's a string, and that's not right. So I should probably get rid of this. Mm. And I should probably get rid of this. Um, isn't it nice to have a backend that just you can use um, instead of having to write one up or have a CLI? Um, so that leaves me with one thing. I don't know what this. Oh God, just go away. Uh, I don't know what this uh, semicolon is. So let me fix that. It's probably something I copied and pasted in. There you go. What are you doing there? Um, so, so that's it. I have things of associated dates. Um, everything has its own date. Um, right. Let me just fix for today. Today is the fourth. It is the third. Today is the third of April. Let me do ABC, ABC1, ABC2, ABC3. And on the 4th of April, I'm going to have DF1, DF2, DF3. Um, so I should um, get to a point where I am able to <clears throat> hmm. I should get to a point where I'm able to um, select between dates and then um, have this uh, appear and disappear. Uh, let me just do that right now. So if I, for example, if I'm on 4th of April, um, I just only want to see stuff from the 4th of April. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if, I, if I'm on the 3rd of April, I only want to see stuff from 3rd of April. So that's hopefully, I probably need the moment docs. Um, that's hopefully what I am going to do here. Um, 
I can do this in a few different ways, but since I'm I'm storing data like this, um, I'm, I'm just getting all the data. Uh, I think this is fine for small databases. Obviously, you want to optimize this query, but now we're just getting all the queries from uh, Firebase onto here. Um, so what that means is when we render, we want to know um, what the current date is. So I'm going to copy this down here um, and then use this current date to check um, if I should be rendering by giving a filter. Um, I guess I could do that. Um, let's see. I think. Yeah, let's let's filter for a current date. Okay. Um, the code is going to look kind of ugly, but um, we'll just kind of wing it. Um, item, and I want item dot date, uh, right, to be triple equals um, current date. The date is going to be the date that I'm going to give back to you. Right now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. So I've got nothing on fourth. <laughs> All right, I've managed to filter everything out. Um, and I think that's something I screwed up on. Um, so it's very likely that item.date is somehow of a different type or just like something slightly different from current date dot to date. Um, and that's causing the issue over here. Um, I am going to need to console log this out. Uh, very nice trick of console logging is it always returns undefined. So you can just stick it in front of things like this. Um, See things side by side. All right, please refresh. Ooh, here we go. All right, you see how they're all different here? That's kind of the problem. Also, the timestamps are different. Um, so that's that's why we're not seeing anything because I'm filtering for exact timestamps. I don't need that. I just want to. Mm. JavaScript date time to date. Do, 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 do. I don't like this. Well, I have moment. No, I don't like this one. What I'm trying to do is I'm just kind of trying to convert date time to just a date so that I can compare um, between them since I don't care that much about. Um, this, this is it? That's terrible. Seriously, I'm sure this works. It's just ugly. I don't have, ooh, look at this. I can format stuff. Does, they, does format work? I, this doesn't look like it's part of um, JavaScript, date, time, format. If I can do that, I will do it. Um, I cannot do two ISO string. I can do two ISO string. Well, I'm going to 
put a pin on the twice of string, um, the time format in the end. In the end is the best ox. It looks like I can I can only have two ISO string, which is pretty sad. Um, look at here. This two ISO string it doesn't have a thing called format. If I get date, what does this do? It's just day of the month, nineteen. That's terrible. Um, La 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 set date. No, I don't want any of the set methods. If I do two date string, yeah, it looks like two ISO string is is the right way to do this. I will be doing dot two ISO string. So sayonara. Hmm. Uh, let me just wrap this in a um, um, function compare dates um, A and B. Uh, return um, A dot white of string dot slice zero ten. E dot two ice string dot slide zero ten. Comparing to itself is pointless. Why yes, JavaScript, you are right. Um Alrighty, so this is what we have on the 3rd of April. This is what we have on the 4th of April. DFDF and DFF. All right, it does not look pretty at all. Not my best work, but it is working. And it's a to-do list. If I check stuff here and I go to 3rd of April, that goes away. If I go to 4th of April, it still persists. Fantastico, another thing I can move over in my grand scheme of things. Um, I do want to be able to put things to backlog. God dang. In fact, I, I've actually gone ahead and done this um, before I did the other thing, which I thought would be easier. Um, so now I need to move things to backlog, uh, which means I need a another button, essentially, um, to, um, to move things out into a backlog um, list. Um, so that I'm going to essentially model as a null, um, right? So instead of sending this, I'm going to send a null. Um, well, OK. Um, let's take care of some uh, visual stuff first. Um, so <clears throat> let's have a thing on the right uh, that essentially replicates this just without the dates, um, which means I need to extract things um, somewhere along the way. So the thing on the right is, um, is the backlog, and the thing on the left is notes, and then here is the calendar. Um, so I'm essentially going to have three different columns. Um, let's just have four different columns. Why not? Um, although these are resizable, these are not resizable. Oh, Ryan, you can make it resizable if you wanted. Um, so we're going to have three different columns, four different columns. What am I saying? Four different columns, and we're going to make this the calendar. I'm just going to leave this empty. Make this the notes, and then make this the backlog. Okay. So in app.js, uh, I just have a thing called main. But I could have a thing called, well, provider only has to have one child. So that's my whole stashed. 
Um, uh, I'm, so I'm going to call this the, I'm just going to extract this, right, to a generic, like, um, to-do list.js, right? And I'm going to just copy all of this over. Um, and I'm not sure the extent to which um, I need to um, duplicate things. What is what is app intro value? What is value? Um, it's not prop stop value. Where does that come from? I don't think I have it anywhere, do I? It says welcome to React. No, I, I don't use it at all. This is completely pointless. Um, and uh, so the, the, the pertinent thing about this is uh, if I want to make a reusable to-do list, um, then I need to think about this essentially has an implicit date in it, and this doesn't. This is not. This is, this is just uh, a, a top-level thing. So I think the date essentially becomes a, something that you get from the main component, right? Um, and then that to-do list gets that as a prop. And then to do this does whatever it wants with it uh, based on however it's configured. So to do list. Um, and let's take out the state. Um, let's take this out as well. So we're, we're going to have to pass down the state and the handle date change. Um, handle submit can stay. Uh, delete item, blah, blah, blah. This goes into props now, as well as handle date change goes into props. Um, isn't it nice how we can do these things? It's our final remaining thing. Um, so that's a nice refactor. Beautiful. I can also. Um, I can also use this in <laughs> uh, any of this, any, any, I do need this. Do you need a date picker? Don't need this anymore. Isn't it beautiful? I like to leave things as comments in case I need them later. I know it's a bad habit, but sue me. Um, for panel, panel layout. That's going to be some CSS that we do. Uh, uh, so the first one, is, I'm just going to leave it as blank and call this the uh, left panel. And then, oops, uh, let me just have a to-do list there. Uh, and then I'll call this the backlog, finally. So hopefully notes and background have a reusable to-do list, right? Um, then huh. do I not need handle handle date change? Handle date change. Oh, I should not have a date picker here. Should not have a date picker. Um, so that's fair. Um, and really the only thing to be aware of is this dot state dot current date. Um, backlog doesn't need to know about it. But the notes do. Um, so 
if I come into to-do list, uh, I now have a thing for current date. Um, if there is no current date, I need to make sure that it's not freezing up. So, there's probably some better way to do this. Uh, so if it's current, yeah, uh, okay. Whoa. If current date is a thing, uh, if current date is not a thing, then don't filter anything. And always have always pass true. I'm so. All right, it's current. If current date is a thing, do this. Is that how it works? Um, so if current date is not a thing, that's always true. If current date is a thing, then that's false. Then the left-hand side is false, so the right-hand side needs to be calculated. Um, I think that's how it works. So essentially, I have a filter only if current date is a thing. Um, that is not right. That is not right. Because I should have a filter regardless. So if current date is a thing, say that. And then current date is not a thing, look for item.date, where item.date is null. Um, and let's just call this uh, item.date null. And not date is okay. You see, all this logic uh, is going to be completely alien to someone coming along later. Um, so I try to comment it. But it's absolutely an open question if I should just leave it all, this, all like this in one giant chain. Um, reasonable people will disagree. And the other thing I'm going to need is a method to transfer stuff from a null state to non-null state. So I'm going to need a thingy here. I'm going to call it backlog item. B sign right here. Um, now this dot backlog item is a thin layer for dot whatever. This is a lot of repetition, I know. And if something is being relegated to the backlog, we just need to update it. Kind of like we do the checks. Um, what what is this thing? Yeah. Okay. Key here to do, and then I need a date, and I need to give it a null. You are a null. Um, it's entirely that so that was a lot of refactoring. Um, it's entirely possible that I messed something up, uh, and the next few minutes is going to be a lot of fun um, trying things out. I think so. I don't want to be showing so. I mean, let's. I can do things the easy way. I can do things the hard way. Um, I don't want to be showing. You see, see this nice sort of left and right thing here. Um, I like that. So what that means is I really need to be uh, aware of what I'm showing over here. So B for backlog, right? And then 
there is a current date, I'm gonna show B for backlog. And if there is no current date, I'm gonna show um, whatever, T for transfer. Um, we're gonna we're gonna work on the symbols later. You know what? I like emojis. Let's let's do emojis. Right. We'll do that. Um, now, backlog item is going to have to be dynamic as well. Um, and the best way I can think of to do that is essentially just have a flag. Um, and I'm just going to make this a Boolean. So what that does is backlog item has a um, to back log, and this is a boolean. <clears throat> Ooh, that doesn't work because if I need to if I need to move things to a specific date, I don't have it. So let's see what I have over here. I have card date. Maybe I just pass the card date. Why not? So if I have the current date, and the current date is either, if the current date is a thing, I set it to a null. If the current date is not a thing, I set it to current date. So essentially, current date is a thing, I set it to null. Yeah. Current date is not a thing, I set it to current. Yeah. Mm. If the current date is a thing, I set it to null. If current date is, is a undefined, then I set it to current date. That doesn't make sense because I need to have current date. In other words, um, I need current date in both of these <clears throat> things over here, and I just need uh, um, it's backlog flag be true. Um, so I, this thing was doing dual purpose, and that was not working. So um, I have been forced to split that up. Um, in React, is backlog equals true. I can also be just shortened to just is backlog. Um, so over here, I need to change a few things because now I have a clear role for. Um, items and I don't want to confuse people. So if it is a backlog, compare dates. Mm -hmm. That's not right. If it's not a backlog, compare dates. Um, and if it is a backlog, um, what am I doing? Oh, show item dot date where item dot date is null. Okay, and then if it is a backlog as well. All right, so so then I need to I think I'm doing too much logic in here, and I should do more logic in here. Um, that's what that's the cause of my difficulty right now. So, um, so I'm just going to call this new date field, and I'm going to do all my logic up there, so I don't get confused, and I have more access to data over here, um, which is what I want. So, example, if I do this backlog. I'm able to do is backlog. If it's backlog, I move it to current date. If not, I just give it the null. Um, down in there, um, uh, that will just pass it through to the backlog item. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's go. Ah, 9.25, main JS. So that was something probably in my refactor. Um, Whoa, okay. Um, I do need to do some CSS work. Give me a sec. App.css. I 
And, oh, that's not the CSS I need to do. I need to do main with CSS. Um, what does main not CSS want? Main not CSS wants panel layout, and it's going to be a grid because I like CSS grid, and it's going to be grid template ones, uh, whatever one fr one fr one fr one fr. Um, how does that look? Very nice. I think really this this typo really bothers me. So I should probably just put the calendar in the on the right. Um, just to save myself some headache later on. There we go. That looks much better. Whoa. Look at that, I can switch back and forth between dates. Oh, that's an error. Cannot read properly to ISO string of null. Ah, so I'm comparing dates when I should not be comparing dates. That's a problem. OK, so I have some logic that I'm messing up. So this takes some careful thinking. Um, so where am I? Um, I'm inside to-do list. I'm not sure where in, in the to-do list I am. I've got two errors. Um, regardless, one of these guys is null. Um, it's definitely not. Um, OK, where, where should I be looking? So this is the compare dates function. B is definitely always true because it's just the date from the date picker. Um, but the thing that's not true is the item not date, which can be a null. If item not date is a null, this should never even arise. Um, Okay, so so if I so if this thing is a null, which it can be, right? Um, then it doesn't. Then it fails to match. Um, so it has to be a date first. There we go. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, ooh, look at that. I can move def1. That's all good. Ah, what? Ah, what am I doing? Uh, moment object found in field date. Okay, so I need to convert things. See, you see over here, that's my mistake. I need to convert things to date. Um, I always forget what I have in current date is a moment object. All right, please move over. Oh, look at this. I can move ABC from March, uh, from April 3rd, switch the date to April 4th, and move ABC back in. <sighs> look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. It's working. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me add stuff here. That disappears. Fantastico. Um, there's a bug where if I add this in here, uh, this immediately goes in straight into that day's notes, which is not what I want. This should be in backlog, right? And that should not appear over there. It should appear up in here. Um, so. What I want to do is make my to do my uh, submission a little more sensitive. Right now, it just always sends current date to date. Um, so 
Essentially, I'm also going to do the new date field thing here. Um, push a bit more of the logic up uh, where I have access to the props. <coughs> I also have access to props here. What am I doing? Jesus. I'm an idiot. Props dot is backlog. It is a backlog. Right. If 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 this to do list is being used in a backlog context, um, set it to null. Not set it to current date today. Bada bing, bada boom. No um, item. There, straight to backlog. You can click this on, click this off, move this around, move this back in. Fantastico. New backlog. So in here. In there. Move this out, move this out. Uh, I think this is working as designed. So I'm going to call it um, and say that declare mission accomplished, essentially. Uh, we've, we started to figure out what the data model of the note is, right? Like just very slowly trial by fire. Um, but in the process, also just had a very good understanding of how to break things out into separate components and reuse them um, as needed. <clears throat> as well as uh, how to handle some of the errors that come up uh, when working with Firebase. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, and don't forget to um, comment, subscribe, whatever it is these YouTube people do. Um, we're on twitter.com slash firebugfam, as well as the imposter syndrome slash firebug channel. Um, and you can always get the GitHub for what we've done today up in Swix, Firebug Planner. Um, that's it. Signing off. <laughs>